Hey everybody, it's Matt, Wrestling with Whiskey, back again today with two selections sent to us by the Dallas Bourbon Club. So first I want to say thank you to the guys and gals over there for sending us these two picks for us to taste through, get a little idea of what kind of flavors the guys and gals over in Dallas like to do when they make their picks. And so as you can see in front of us, we have an Old Forester 90 proof, as well as a Sagamore Spirit Rye 110 proof. These are both single barrel selections. If you're not sure what that is, basically these guys, this club got together with a retail partner and they were able to pick a single barrel of whiskey from each of these brands and then distribute it wherever they may. But they got to pick out of several barrels which one they want, which makes their product unique to any other barrel or any other bottle on the shelf. So that's the cool thing when you go into your local liquor store and see selected by or single barrel pick because every barrel and whiskey can be a little bit different. That's the one thing, one of the many incredibly fun things about it. And so these are two different brands that they got to do that with. Uh, the Old Forcer, like I said, here at 90 Proof, they've got a little sticker which is very popular amongst uh, clubs and stores. So there is their sticker. A lot of them are very punny or lack thereof sometimes, but this is dust on the barrel, much like dust on the wind. Um, so you'll see those often. This one, sticker less, but little tag here that says age six years. We know it's 110 proof. It gives you the barrel, the location, and the selected by sticker right in the bottom right there. And oh, there is a big sticker, sorry. This is Texas Samurai. Almost missed that one down there on the bottom. Another very cool, uh, sometimes using drawings from cartoons or pictures from movies or songs. Again, a lot of meme or puns or real bad jokes sometimes, but adds a little character to your bottle. Uh, so one of these is a bourbon, one of these is a rye. Uh, I believe this one is a very high rye, rye, and this is a Maryland spirit. This is out of the Baltimore area. And rye in the Northeast, Pennsylvania rye, Maryland rye, was very, very historic. That used to be like the go-to whiskey in America for a long time before our friend bourbon came along. And so it kind of disappeared when bourbon became more popular and things like scotch and stuff were imported and even Canadian whiskey, which often uses a lot of rye, but when those rose to popularity, the Pennsylvania, Maryland, you know, New England rye kind of dissipated, but they've been having a little bit of a renaissance lately, which is very, very cool. So I'm excited to try this. Old Forester, I think, is one of the most exciting brands going right now, especially for um, the major houses. Uh, Brown Foreman, this used to be one of their kind of... <clears throat> I would think smaller, kind of more your everyday bourbons and stuff like that. It was pretty much it. It was just a small brand of their portfolio, but now they have been rocking it with their Whiskey Row series, and now they've opened up a lot of single barrel picks. They've even started 100 proof picks and cast strength picks, which I can't wait to try. So no more exposition. Without further ado, thank you again to the Dallas Bourbon Club. Let's give these a little taste, right? So we're gonna start with the Old Forester. Old Forester, we know, no age on these, but they do give you a little bit of info. They give you the warehouse on the floor. We know they're all 90 proof. When you go, you do get to taste these at barrel strength. So, lucky you guys for getting that, but we get it at 90 proof. And uh, let's see what it's like. That is a nice nose. That is nose-rific. There's a lot of dark fruit on that one. Um, I normally don't get that much fruit from Old Forester, so I really like that. Normally I get, I get some banana-y, um, sometimes spicy herbal notes from Old Forester, but... Oh, this is straight cherry pie and, and, and plum and grape and... Oh yeah, deep, like vanilla-y fruit. Um, bold, you know, not a ton of like pepper on there. Yeah, there's some deep, like deep sweetness. Not light sugary sweetness, but like this deep sweetness.
Mm. All right, a little bit of peppery spice on there. Get a little bit more of the caramel and nougat here, but still that underlying almost dark Luxardo cherry on the... Uh, that I've gotten on a cheap. My first ever Old Forester single barrel pick that I had from Benny's here in Chicago had a lot of cherry on it. So maybe that's something more common that I'm used to. Mmm. There's a nice pretty viscous feel on this. For 90 proof, even though it was watered down, proof down to 90 proof, there's a pretty good mouth feel on this. It just feels very substantial, like you can chew it, which is something I've always really liked. Again, nice, some woody notes in there. Finishes, not a whole lot there. Uh, normally, you know, I like a nice rolling finish, tingles with you all the way front of the palate to the back and down, but this is a little quick, but it could be the age, could be the proof, you know, um, could be a lot of things. But despite that, there's a lot of flavor up front that is very, very enjoyable. Makes it very sippable, very easy going, nice on the porch on a summer day. Switching over to the rye. We know this one does have an age statement, unlike the bourbon. We know that this is six years, which means it's at least six years old. It could be a little bit more, give or take, but they tell you it's at least six years old right there. Barrel number 22 on floor number three, rack number three. That was like a little good little name tag. So rye, I don't know the rye mash bill on this. Uh, I'm sure somebody will add it in the comments or let me know. But again, this is a Maryland straight rye. And this was barreled on January 11th, 2013. And then it was bottled recently, six years old. So rye, not. Give it a try. Holy crap. Um, I didn't look up the mash bill ahead of time. Like I said, if I had to guess, though, that's 100% rye. Whew. That is spice and herbal. Oh my God, it's like, it's like a black pepper and herbal tea, which that's a very, very distinct rye note. Uh, if you get a lot of ryes that are made in Kentucky, often they're only just le barely legally rye whiskeys, so they're 51% rye. Uh, the rest is usually filled with corn and barley, but this, I feel like this is high 90s or 100% rye. Wow, that is all spice and herbal tea. Mmm, whoo, super spicy. Not Hot, like alcohol hot, but like black pepper spice. Mm, chewing like a flower, almost. There's some earthy notes in there. You let it sit on your tongue a little bit. There are some lighter fruit notes in there. Some like, almost cherry and strawberries, but just, just very, very, very hint. That one's just herbal peppers dancing all over the palate. That's really nice. That's, re that's really, really interesting. Rise can mature very quickly, so when you give it even more time, like six years, you're seeing some nice maturity in there. Getting those wood notes, you're getting those herbal, flowery, earthy notes, you get the black pepper spice. Six years to me is a great rye age. Um, 
two years is good. Um, I think six is like key. If you get north of 10, it becomes a whole nother beast. Those older ryes are just like candy and a little, much more sweetness from the aging process. But right in six years gets you that little bit of that bite of youth, but it's also super, super flavorful. Enough from that wood influence and everything. So thank you guys. Thank you once again to the Dallas Bourbon Club. If you are in the Dallas area, I suggest you look these guys up in their club. I suggest you seek these out at a liquor store, at a distributor, wherever you got to get them. Thank you very much. Always be trying your local store picks. Always be trying to join a club, whatever you can. And always, always, always be wrestling with whiskey.